isn't the great thing about being out in your own personal woods is coming out and doing something that you enjoy whether it be bushcraft walking bird watching or in my case practices of survival i talk a little bit about the principles of survival there's four main principles fire water shelter and food in a woodland like this it gives you the opportunity to practice all these from purifying your own water from a, whether it's a buggy mo buggy mod uh, bog or a running stream food is the plants fungi insects and then the animals that are around us we're lucky enough to have rabbits and deer around here and then shelter what trees what conditions winter summer and what to use hazel is always a good one it's flexible and that's that's one of the primary things about having your own woodland basically when it comes to survival we think of it as a pyramid at the base of the pyramid is the actual will to survive the will to go on against all odds and when you're feeling cold hungry thirsty and everything seems to be against you to deal with these stresses you need confidence skills and the ability to put the skills into place on top of that you can if you're lucky enough you've got kit and with kit we carry a survival tin with us and the contents of the tin is usually personalized to the person you're using for example one of them is water the simple fact of carrying water purification gives you the ability to have safe drinking water you may not have a water bottle with you we use condoms they hold about a litre of water. One tablet purifies about a litre of that. Also, if you've got a wound, a burn or cut, you can roll the condom over it, stopping the dirt getting into it. Brass wire. Primary use of bar wire, uh, brass wire will be to make snares to acquire rabbits or bigger game. But they can be used in shelter building or particularly if you're using fires as we did with a tripod. Fire is a very important one. Waterproof matches, magnifying glass, candle. I carry on my knife this, a lighter which produces sparks. Cotton wool, it quiets the tin, used as a tinder, and if you do cut yourself, it absorbs. An array of fishing hooks primarily for fishing but you can catch wild birds with them as well i.e. pheasants talking of fishing artificial lures guarantee when you want a worm you can't find them or if you don't catch the fish worm is dinner a little brass button compass for navigation purposes whistles for communication through the woods if you're with other parties or to uh, attract attention to yourself if you're injured. Fishing line again. Again, shelter building, clove making. Ready made fishing hooks, ready to go so you're not tying hooks, particularly if you've been a day or two, you're feeling a bit tired and lethargic. There's quite a lot of contents in a small tobacco tin. This is a custom made tin, but if you're boiling water, you can even make a little nettle tea in that size tin. Thank you.